Armenia's government says more than 100,000 ethnic Armenians have now fled Nagorno-Karabakh. That's after Azerbaijan took control of the disputed region after a lightning military campaign earlier this month. Nagorno-Karabakh was controlled by Armenian separatists for decades but is internationally recognised as part of Azerbaijan. The United Nations says it is sending a mission to the region this weekend to assess the humanitarian situation on the ground there and the team will look at the needs of people remaining in the territory as well as those who are on the move. Azerbaijan has said it would allow a visit like that to take place. Well, earlier I spoke to Dick Gran Kodanian. He is a freelance journalist currently in Goris. Right now I'm actually in Goris, which is 30 minutes right after the uh, Artsakh or illegal checkpoint that Azerbaijan has set up. As you can see behind me, there's a few tents set up. As of now, they're reporting that over around 100,000 Armenians from Artsakh, Nagorno Karabakh, have entered the Republic of Armenia. Uh, and just to give you an idea, the population of Goris is 20,000. So one of the first stops is this city because this is where they're registering, this is where they're getting a need assessment, and this is where they're being then later sent uh, for accommodations in different cities and different parts of the Republic of Armenia. There's different tents set up, including the Red Cross and various organizations like the Armenian Relief Society that are providing aid and necessary uh, supplies at this moment. But uh, that's uh, what's going on on the ground right now in Goris. And is there any idea, are more people going to continue to arrive in the days ahead now? Because the latest number we have is 100,000, and there can't be that many more than 100,000 people in Nagorno-Karabakh in the first place. According to official reports from nagorno karabakh the last group of Armenians from Artsakh have left the region. So whoever was there is currently on their way. So that, that will basically mean, effectively, almost every person who had a home and lived in Nagorno-Karabakh has now left. That is a huge number of people that Armenia will now have to integrate. Exactly, yes. What are the challenges of doing that, for, especially as the, the size of the country? One of the biggest challenges is the fact that Stunik, which is the province that the city of Goris is in right now, currently borders Azerbaijan, as they've occupied territories of nagorno karabakh as of 2020. Most of the Armenians coming into this region are now fearing that the, they may somewhat suffer the similar fate as they did in their homes in Stepanagerd and border other parts of nagorno karabakh So they have no idea where they're going to move. Their plans are uh, uncertain, and they definitely want to get as far as away they can from the border because they fear that Azerbaijan is just going to continue with their aggressive and animosity and uh, aggressive rhetoric towards the Republic of Armenia. But Azerbaijan have said quite clearly that they are not requesting that anyone leaves. They say people are welcome to stay and to form part of a multi-ethnic Azerbaijan. That message is clearly rejected by, by these people who are leaving. Not necessarily just rejected, but Azerbaijan pro actions proved to be otherwise. Because if you recall, September 19th to 20, they launched an unprovoked attack uh, that had traces or characteristics of ethnic cleansing and genocide. So these people are not voluntarily fleeing from their homes. They're being forcibly displaced and evacuated for their safety because they don't feel like they can live a safe and secure life under Azerbaijan. And the only way they do feel that they would go return to their homelands is if there's a free and independent Armenian Republic of Aksa. I see. And the Azerbaijan government has previously, uh, and I'm sure would deny that. But let's get back to the people who are crossing the border to you. We've been seeing, as you've been talking, pictures of bottles of water and, and bits of aid. What are the supplies that are most needed there by people where you are? So right now, there's been food, water, uh, and uh, uh, cow basic necessities that are being passed out immediately. But the winter is coming. Uh, it's going to be a cold one, which it normally is in the Republic of Armenia. So housing accommodations as well as the necessary clothing and resources to survive a cold winter is uh, immediately necessary at this moment. And enough uh, food, obviously, in addition.